Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, pink uh, circle with the center uh, fully inscribed uh, in a right uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, circle is uh, pi centimeter square. And this uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 10 centimeter. And furthermore, uh, these points uh, D, E, and uh, F are our points of tangency. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, pink uh, circle whose uh, area has been given to us as pi. And now we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r represents the radius of the circle. And in our case, uh, the area of this circle is pi. So therefore, I can fill in the blanks in this formula. So the area is pi equals to pi times uh, r square. Let's divide both sides by pi and we can see that our r square value turns out to be simply 1. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. And here we can see square and square root undo each other. So therefore our radius r turns out to be positive 1 centimeter. So thus the radius of this uh, pink circle turns out to be 1 centimeter. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center row with these points E and uh, F. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these uh, points. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see this is our radius and this is our tangent line. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore, in our case, uh, this angle and this angle are going to be 90 degrees each. Since these are our radii and these are our tangent lines. And here's our next step. We know that this uh, EO is the radius of this uh, circle. So this uh, radius uh, is uh, 1. So that means OE length is going to be 1. And likewise, this uh, OF is the radius uh, as well. And our radius is 1. So that means OF uh, length is 1 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, square uh, EOFB. This uh, length uh, EO is going to be equal to this uh, length uh, BF. If this is 1, then BF length is going to be 1 centimeter as well. And likewise, uh, this uh, OF uh, length is going to be equal to this uh, EB length. If this length is 1, then EB length is going to be 1 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, hypotenuse uh, AC of this uh, blue triangle. This segment uh, CD is uh, 10. Let's assume that this uh, AD length uh, is uh, x centimeter. And now let's recall the two tangents theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments uh, are drawn to one circle from the same uh, external point, then they are uh, convert as you can see in this uh, given diagram. So therefore, uh, this segment OA is going to be congruent to this segment uh, OB. Let's focus on our this uh, problem. So we know CD length uh, is uh, 10. Then our this uh, CF length is going to be 10 uh, as well. And likewise, uh, if this uh, segment AD is uh, X, then this uh, segment AE is going to be X uh, as well, according to this uh, two tangent uh, theorem. And now let's make an observation. We can see this whole uh, BC length is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths, uh, BF uh, and uh, FC. So that's going to be 1 plus 10 is going to make uh, 11 centimeter. 
So therefore, our this uh, B C length turns out to be 11. And likewise, uh, this uh, whole length uh, A B is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths uh, X uh, plus one. So this is going to become X uh, plus uh, one. And finally, this uh, whole uh, hypotenuse A C is going to be the sum of these uh, two segments uh, X uh, plus 10. So this is going to be equal to X uh, plus uh, 10. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are 11, X plus 1 and X plus uh, 10. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to solve for X. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is X uh, plus uh, 1 uh, whole square plus b is 11 square equal to our hypotenuse is x plus 10 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square i am going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side and on this uh, binomial on the right hand side as well so therefore I can write uh, x square plus uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 1 plus 11 square is 121 equal to on the right hand side is going to be x square plus uh, 20x uh, plus uh, 100. And now we can see this x square and this x square they are gone. So therefore the left hand side when we combine the like terms is going to be 2x plus 122 equals to 20x plus 100. Let me go ahead and move this 2x on the right hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this 100 on the other side. So therefore we could have this one 122 minus 100 equals to 20x minus uh, 2x. If we could simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 18x uh, equal to 22. Let me divide both sides by 18 to isolate x. Uh, so therefore this 18 and 18 is gone. So x uh, is going to be equal to and if we reduce uh, the right hand side is going to give us 11 uh, divided by 9. So therefore uh, this x value turns out to be 11 divided by 9 and likewise uh, this x value turns out to be 11 divided by 9 as well. So therefore this whole uh, length uh, a b is going to be x plus 1 and x equal to 11 divided by 9. So I can uh, substitute x uh, value by this uh, 11 divided by 9. Uh, plus uh, 1 and if I add and simplify these uh, numbers uh, it turns out to be 20 divided by 9. So therefore our this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 20 divided by 9 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, a b c and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, the height of this triangle uh, is 20 divided by 9 and the base uh, is uh, 11. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So this is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, our base is uh, 11 times uh, our height is uh, 20 divided by 9. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 110 divided by 9 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC turns out to be 110 divided by 9 centimeter square and that is going to be approximately equal to 12.2 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.